Some writers may prefer to write in a distraction-free environment, hiding the on-screen interface so you can concentrate on putting words to the page. This is where Scrivener's Composition Mode comes in handy. To enter Composition Mode, click on the Compose icon in the toolbar, go to View, Enter Composition Mode, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Option F. Everything else disappears and you're left with a deep blue screen with light text. These default colours are intended to reduce screen glare, allowing you to write for longer periods without getting a headache, but we'll go over how to change those in a moment. If you move the mouse to the bottom of the screen, a control bar will appear. The options here are still fairly minimal. You'll see a word count and a number of controls. You can change the width and position of the paper, stretching it to fill the screen or slimming it down to something resembling a paperback novel, and align it to the right or left. If you hold down the Option key, these controls change to control the height and vertical position of the writing space. If the text scale isn't to your liking, you can control that from this list here. Why might you want this amount of flexibility over your writing area? Well, for a start, you might want to open the Inspector panel by clicking the I button, allowing you to reach your synopsis, footnotes and other metadata without leaving composition mode. You can also open the Keywords panel from here if you want to add or remove keywords from the current document. These are easily hidden again by clicking the button one more time. You can also fade out the background so the blank areas show your desktop background. If you move your mouse to the top of the screen you'll be able to access the menu bar. From here, go to Scrivener, Preferences, open the Appearances panel and click on Composition Mode. Here you can change the look of composition mode, for example, changing the editor background colour to a more paper-like cream colour, then unchecking the text override option, so the text uses the same colour as the regular editor. Alternatively, you could choose a different text colour on a completely black background, whatever works best for you. These can easily be returned to the defaults by clicking Use Default Colour. You can also set a custom background image for composition mode, by going to Project, Project Settings, choosing Background Images, and then either choosing an image from within your project, or locating one elsewhere on your computer. Now the Background Fade slider will change to Paper Fade, and you can fade the paper in or out, in order to see more of your background image. Composition Mode provides a great writing space away from all distractions. Once you're done, Hit Escape or click the Exit button on the far right of the control bar to leave Composition Mode and return to the regular Scrivener interface. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you'd like to learn more about Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing!